That is an excellent dog. Oh, thank you. Can I have him? Excuse me? No, get your own dog. This one is mine. What? Stupid. This game is unplayable. Unbelievable. Okay, please take my dog. Just stop yelling at me. Ladies, gentlemen, and monsters of all ages, with Monster Hunter Rise finally having its proper final boss, it now seems like the right time to reflect on the game that we've been given. We have talked about a lot of the best parts of the game, the stuff that we love, but what about the stuff that we don't? The stuff that makes Rise literally not even worth playing. Like, what's the point, you know? I'll be honest, there are some criticisms out there that people have that I just don't really agree with. Those won't be in this video. These will be the ones that I consider the most reasonable arguments against the game. The things that I personally believe to be the five reasons that Rise is absolutely unplayable as a Monster Hunter game because of the things that it's missing. Without further ado, beginning with... Number five. No hot and cool drinks. Yep. Well, at least a while back, some people were saying that the game was unplayable because of this, and well, now, I mean, I, I sort of get it. I, I would say unplayable maybe a touch too far, but it does feel weird to walk into the Frost Islands in the same armor that I walk into the Sandy Plains with, feeling no strange effects on my personage. The main, main thing that I miss, though, is specifically because we have the Sandy Plains back in the series, which in its old version used to require you to have a cool drink during the day, or a hot drink at night night, which I always thought was a really nice little special detail that most games wouldn't do, but Monster Hunter does, as deserts really do just get that cold at night. Open windy plains with minimal trees to provide resistance will do that to you once the sun goes down. But in order to aid our speed of hunting to streamline the process from quest start to monster fight, these drinks have been removed. I still don't know if I consider it an overall bad thing for the series, as I personally love this new, faster pace of hunting in rides, it's just fun. But if for no other reason than that little tiny ecology tidbit that I loved about the desert, I do miss this tiny thing for sure. Number four. Everyone, danger, danger, let's run. How far? Very far. But what about the ocean? I don't care, we'll swim or something. No, Aptonoth. They're a classic monster, why are you looking at me like that? They belong here. They have been in every Monster Hunter game before Rise. They are the Rathalos of small monsters, the flagship of the small monsters. It's just weird, it's odd. I love Aptonoth. They're always in larger groups in their zones and their size makes it fun when they're just frenzied panic running through you fighting the monster. I find that part of them hilarious and it's just sort of missing. Yes, we have other small monsters that are great. We have new small monsters that are great. We even have Slagtoth to fill the classic Aptonoth roll and rise of the cow-esque monster that is most farmed for raw meat. But it's just not the, the same, you know what I mean? It'll probably make a reappearance in the G-Rank expansion to the game, assuming that new maps are added in that expansion. But for now, it is really weird to me that this is a Monster Hunter game that just doesn't have the Aptonoth at all. Number three. How did the pig tracks get on the ceiling? Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. No, Poogie. I know, I know that we can have the cohoots now, which we can dress up, but it's just, it's not the, it's not the, not the Poogie. Where is my little piglet that I can dress up in a monster costume to scare the villagers into thinking a wild monster is loose? I would love to see a Goss Harag Poogie costume where he just gets a big furry white coat and tiny little icy booties. Like, where is my tiny pig Capcom? It just it completely ruins the rest of this immaculate game you've crafted here. All of these incredibly fun monster fights and the extra combat depth in our new weapon system, all of that, it means nothing if I can't hold a pig in my arm and name him Poglet. Sarcasm aside, yeah, I would really love if the boogie was here. It's okay without it, but we have things that are intended to fill the void. But w once you give people a happy pig in the series, you can't take it away for long. I'm still mad that we don't have the Mufa anymore, honestly. Number two. You better not lose your hair because you're an ugly bald man. Missing hairstyles and beards. This one won't apply to 
everyone, and your first instinct may be, Cotton, stop complaining about the gosh darn pompadour. You basically got a bag with a great baggy crest that costs money. Y yeah, that, but that's not, that's, not, that's not what this is about. Not exclusively, at least. That's obviously how I came across this issue personally, but I've actually heard from a load of people that many hairstyles that were in previous games just aren't around. Now, to be fair, Iceborne specifically had a ton of extra hair options that haven't been here before, but we're talking about a bunch of things that have been in the series for multiple generations now. People who have used the same hairstyle since the third generation or even longer who just don't have the option to in Rise. They cannot make the exact character that they have played for years. And well, for some people, that really does actually make the game unplayable. I say just wear a helmet. This crime also extends to beards though, as in Rise, there's just no proper full on long beard, which is just an absolute crying shame. I need my beards. Number one. Your favorite. That's your favorite. That's my favorite, too. Your favorite monster. Like the last one, this won't apply to all of you, as some of your favorite monsters will actually be in this game, but my favorite monster is not. I bet that goes for a good portion of you, too. Duramboros, I miss you. You're everything I try to be in my everyday life. Peaceful, yet capable of swatting threats away like flies. Tranquil and ever smiling. He eats trees, not even other living creatures. Sorry, this isn't about Durambros, right? It's about the concept of your favorite monster, right? The, the general concept of a favorite monster. The worst part of it is just how damn fun Rise is, right? The main reason that I'm sad that Durambros, who is my favorite monster, isn't in Rise is because I think that Durambros would be incredible to fight in Rise. And I'm sure anyone feels the same way about their own favorite monster for the simple reason that Rise's weapon design and monster design is incredible. I don't think there is a single monster in the game who hasn't been enhanced as an experience by the changes made or by the general playstyle of the game itself at the very least. Rise is fun. My favorite monster is fun. My favorite monster might be even more fun than they already were if they were in Rise. So the fact that they aren't is straight up agonizing. And I bet a good portion of you feel the same way. All in all though, this is just nitpicking, which is sort of the point that I'm trying to make here. Charm farming endgame is more or less the same as decoration farming, no matter what you say. It's really personal choice one or the other. Difficulty is also personal, as some things in the game can pose quite a challenge. But this is also simply the base game, not a G-rank expansion yet, so I don't quite consider that a strong argument against the game either. People talk about a lack of content, which I don't get. The roster's chock full of creatures, so what I'm left then with is these five things. For me, personally, as the things most missing from Rise. The things that may just make the game unplayable for you, depending on your state of mind. What does this say about the game as a whole? Well, I'll leave that up to you to make your own decisions in your own head, but I know for me, if this is my list of that, I must like the game quite a bit. All right, everyone, I've been Cotton Dinosaur, and this has been my list of the top five missing things that make the game unplayable. Because damn, are these things absolutely game-breaking. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye